Hi guys, Tory Minister Lucy Fraser spoke to a caller named Richard on Nick Ferrari's show about Brexit and the problems it's causing to touring musicians. A big issue for the music industry isn't just an agreement wasn't reached between the UK and the EU during the transition period as part of the TCA, but that Brussels had actually something on the table which was rejected by Brexiteers. Why? Well, it sounded too much like freedom of movement, so it had to go. But Lucy wants to blame the EU over this. Have a listen. I think it is really important that we get touring musicians able to continue to tour uh, without red tape in the EU. Uh, we have got an agreement where you can go uh, to uh, EU countries, uh, tour for 90 days. We've done uh, bilateral agreements with most of those countries uh, where musicians want to tour. I think there are only three or four in the EU where we don't have a bilateral agreement. Uh, but this is absolutely, Richard, on my radar. Um, and I'm working with the Foreign Secretary to see if this is one of the things that we can continue to negotiate with the when EU. When can you possibly tell Richard he might hear more? Uh, he's obviously well, he's, he's toiling with this on a weekly basis, I imagine. When there might be some progress for him? He is. Well, look, we want to do this, but it's a question for the EU. So I can't give a commitment on timing because I'm not in control of that. But I would like to take issue with Richard's point that we haven't done anything because in oh. June I announced a, a culture sector vision uh, uh, creative industry sector vision, you know, well, support for the industry. And within that was five million pounds for grassroots music venues, because we do recognize the importance of the pipeline of talent uh, and musicians, you know, getting that support that they need right. both domestically and uh, internationally. Uh, what impact is that in a sentence, Richard? What impact has that had on your life? The Secretary well, State the 80 afraid? days on a hundred, the, the 90 days in 180 days has cost many of my colleagues huge sums of money and and lost them, you know, lifetime gigs that they've had as i said to you it's cost much sm you know smaller touring operations the opportunity to even go to europe and the i and, and what you just said sounds you know about what you've you know <laughs> i can't remember what you referred to it as but it just sounds like the thick of it to me <laughs> it's exactly like the thick of it this is a government minister either either who doesn't understand what she's talking about or doesn't care about the truth so there was an option on the table. The EU would have allowed musicians a sort of exemption from the ending of freedom of movement. And the, the Brexiteers didn't want to go along with that. Now, the big problem for people who are touring is that it, if they visit a place in Europe and then they return to Britain, well, there's a problem with getting back into Europe again. So if, you're, if you want to move from one country to the other, that is a bit of a problem over the 90-day limit. But her response to all of this is, well, don't worry, we're actually trying to help out uh, musicians here. We're going to spend £5 million on some sort of grassroots scheme. £5 million. The industry is worth billions. And you're talking about £5 million. To what? To undo some of the Brexit damage? But as the musician has pointed out, and I've spoken to musicians in the past, Many of them have had to abandon touring because of the bureaucracy involved, the cost and the bureaucracy. This has done serious damage to one of the most fundamentally important industries in Britain, culture, in the arts, music. This has done serious damage when, what was the focus on during the negotiations for the TCA? Fishing. An industry probably as big as the lawnmower industry. Why? Because it created some sort of sentimentalism within Brexiteers. Let's focus on fishing. The European Union officials couldn't understand it either. Why are you talking about fishing? It's not such an important in industry. Why are you focusing on fishing at the expense of so many other sectors like finance or the arts? So what does, what does uh, Lucy Fraser have to say about this? Well, it's the EU's fault and it's up to the EU to fix this. The EU is not going to fix this. There was an option on the table and the Brexiteers said no. We can only hope that the next government, a Labour government, will try and fix this somehow. But that ship may have already sailed. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.